Good morning and welcome to today's Life University Life Church, your global spiritual community portal. And I am your host, Reverend Onisia Palmer Wallace. I pray that you have had a good week so far. The month is, we're halfway through the month, and I just pray that these segments have you know, have helped you and, you know, are doing something very great in your life. I'm truly blessed to be able to share with you each week. Well, I've had some prayer requests and I'm just going to start off by praying and just asking life right where you are, the life in you, to just bless you right where you are. I know you're blessed. I'm just going to join with you in a prayer of thanksgiving, a prayer of appreciation for life. Oh, how grateful we are today for life, for all goodness, for peace that pass all understanding, for love that is so complete and perfect. This love, this peace, this life that is God that lives us. The life principle, the life intelligence in each breath. Oh, how grateful we are this moment in this time. We give thanks, we give praise for all that life is and all that life expresses through us. Amen. Thank you for joining me for this prayer. Well, today, I'm going to share with you five words. So perhaps you would like to get a pen. I hope you have one right where you are. Now, I've been told that this, the last two segments have been really, really low. So I'm trying to raise my voice today that you might be able to listen with more ease and, um, and grace. So these five words I would like to share with you today. The first one is sing. You'll find out why. This word sing is very important and I would like you to use these five words. And just think about them, write them down, think about them and use them this week. Okay, so written word is very powerful when thought about and applied. There is a deep principle uh, of freedom and liberty, joy and peace. When you write something down, you think about it, and you actually allow it to be something very powerful. Then the word take on form, and the form takes on the word, or imitate the word, and we have that glorious experience of the word that is written down. So that's why it's very important what we write down, what we know about the words that we write down, okay? Very, very fulfilling in our life experience. So the first word is sing. Now the opposite of sing, I could tell you about that. But for now, remember I told you each segment is fresh thoughts, life words. We are, we are full. The world is full of bad news, bad words, negative words. But today, and hopefully each segment, we will have an opportunity to, to joy, you know? Okay, so sing. The next word is praise. Sing, praise. Next word is grace. Beautiful. Grace. The next word is live. Oh, lives. Live. And the final word is rain. There is power in these words. Not just written down, but thought about and acted upon experienced. So I'm going to teach you a little song as I do every week and this week comes fresh from life. Yes, life gave me this word. So it feels like this. 
Sing your song of praise, your Savior lives. Sing your song of praise, your Savior reigns. Your Savior reigns within. So sing your song of love, your Savior lives. Sing your song of praise, your Savior reigns within. Your Savior reigns within. Your Savior reigns within. Sing your song of praise. Your Savior lives within. Sing. 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 Sing instead of crying. Sing instead of weeping. There is a scripture that says, Weeping may enjoy for a night, but joy comes in the morning. This moment, be it 7 p.m., it could be your morning. Let it be your morning. Sing your song of praise. A song of praise that life, your Savior, Life, your Savior, lives within. Something to sing about. Write that down. My Savior lives within. And sing it. Let it be your life song. You see on your soul, that invisible part of you, your essence, as it were, the Savior lives within. On your soul, in your soul, within your soul, from your soul. And so there is a song within your soul, the Savior's song, a song that it's okay, a song of liberty, a song of joy. So sing your song of praise. Your Savior lives. Wipe those tears from your eyes. Cry no more. There's another part to this song. It says, Weep no more, oh weep no more, weep no more, your Savior lives within. Weep no more, oh weep no more, your Savior reigns, your Savior reigns within. And as you hum this during the week, my Savior lives within, you sing that. The tune begins to resonate, resonate throughout your arms, throughout your legs, throughout your mind, throughout your spirit, down your spine, in your platelets of your blood. Oh, there will be freedom and liberty. The next word I shared with you was praise. Praise instead of complaint. A few weeks I, I said, I mentioned this, that there is so much to complain about. Oh my goodness, you could complain from morning till night time, summer time, winter time. We can always find something to complain about. But do you know, there is so much that we could praise. Praise is a wonderful thing. Just give praise. Praise for life. Praise life for breathing you. Praise. praise. You're listening today so you can hear. Praise life, hearing, for the sense of hearing that you can hear. And just look about you for things to, to give praise for. And so, a song I just taught you, it says, Sing your song of praise, your Savior reigns. The next, sing your song of grace, your Savior reigns. Grace. Oh, what a fantastic word. Grace, write that down, G-R-A-C-E. Oh, grace, instead of feeling unworthy, choose. Do you remember the song we sang two weeks ago? Shift lanes, shift lanes. Take your journey into love. Shift lanes. Each day. Within each breath, we are given something called choice. 
so many things might have happened in the past. And that sense of unworthiness when we are on our own or sometimes when we are with others that are sharing something wonderful or, you know, we might say that person is a show off uh, because we feel so unworthy. We might even go as far as saying they cause us to feel unworthy. But no one can cause you to feel any way. We have the power within us. We have, because remember, as I shared two weeks ago, you are light. The life of light is the light that will light every man that comes into the world. That is actually a scripture. The light of life, the light of God, lights every person that comes into the world. We forget it from baby Hood through childhood, by the time we are teenagers, we soon forget the magnificent beings that we are. You know, then we begin to focus on the trials and the temptations and, and the things that we don't like. Today, please write this word grace so that it gets rid of all that sense of unworthiness. And write down grace. You can even put beside it, I am worthy. I am is another word for life, is another word for God. So when you say that I am worthy, you're actually identifying with the life that lives you. You're giving power to your inner life. You're, you're actually praising God. You're actually uplifting God. You're actually um, imitating and meditating. Okay, you're, you're activating a deep sense of meditation when you use those words. I am worthy. And so this is grace. Grace, it's, it's inbuilt. You know, it's inbuilt, that grace of God. You have, to, you have to release that. And God has given us, he's given us the ability to do that. And that is called choice. He gave us that choice. And we can use our choice. We can use our choice card today and choose to allow the grace, the grace and beauty of life to transform us, hallelujah, into the magnificent beings that we truly were designed to be. The next word is live. Now, when you say live, what comes to mind? Live, not lived, but live. Live is very present. Oh. The scripture that comes to me right now is that life is a very present help. We could add a very present help in time of trouble. I choose not to add that there, though that is true. Life, God, is a very present help in time of trouble. But the fact is, not only is life a present help in time of trouble, Life is a present help. Life is there all the time to help us. But when we are in trouble, we, we most realize how wonderful life can be. So we cry out. We cry out sometimes to, to others and we, we implore ourselves to, to be our better self. And so we do better or someone encourages us with, with better words than how we are feeling. But today, I would like these words to empower you to know that the life that lives you is the life of God. Can you write that down somewhere? The life that lives me is the life of God. The life that lives me right now, live. That word live speaks to us about the present moment. In the present moment, there is presence. And in presence... With God's presence, there is fullness of joy. And then that leads me on to the final word. Oh, the scripture says that the master, the master left the best wine until last. Well, this is the wine of the soul. This is the wine of God, the word, beautiful word. This last word is rain. R-E-I-G-N, the letter R-I 
engage in and reign. Oh, that talks to us in our times of loss. You know, depreciation, loss or less. We can eliminate that today by thinking about the life that reigns in you. So even when things around, you know, situation, circumstances around seems to be depreciating, getting less, minus, loss, life reigns. The Savior reigns. Even when life is out of the body, the body might fade and fall, but the life within the body reigns forever. That word reign speaks to us about an eternal eternality and eternality a continuity oh this is an infinite abundance of life living right there inside of you go to a mirror and say the life of god lives me now the life of god reigns in me now and that word do you realize that in every single second there is a now moment <laughs> with every breath is a now moment so sometimes when we say the Lord reign, we think about eternity as, you know, addition of days. But right now we are in eternity. Isn't it wonderful? So those things that look as if I just can't take anymore, I've had it. We can revert to patience because Savior lives and reigns within. So I'm going to end there right now but I'm not going to be uncaring for those of you who may have a prayer request today or have a need for prayer. Right where you are. Right where you are. Just take a breath with me. Take a holy breath. A holy breath is when we are deliberately Conscious of breathing. No, wait. No, no, no. Not just breathing as in taking a breath. But that the life that lives within that breath, the intelligence of that breath, the, the essence within the breath is the very heart and life of God. The very beauty, the very fullness, the spirit the spirit peace in that breath. So when we are conscious of that, oh, that is a holy breath. Oh, that we would experience holy breath, that we might sing, that we might praise, that we might find grace, we might find that worthy place and live in that worthy place. Oh, that we might live, live the opposite of dis-ease. Oh, there is so much dis-ease. You know, that God wants us to live in ease. Live in ease. When we are truly aware of life living us, and that that life is the life of God, we have shifted from death into life. And so the Savior reigns today. For this moment, I just become very consciously aware that your life my life, our life, the life of all that is, animate and inanimate, that all is God, all comes from love. Nothing can be produced or exists without love. Life is good. Life is pleasant, life is gracious, life is beautiful, life is wonderful, life is magnificent. Have a wonderful, wonderful week. If you enjoy this segment, why not leave a comment below or leave a comment anyway, a prayer request, and I hope that you will join me next week or encourage somebody else by passing on this segment. Bless you. This is your host, the Reverend Donicia Palmer-Wallace. Thank you for joining us today. 
on Life University Live Church.